and teacher's going to take you on the subject, which I'm not too sure in mind, but I think it's to do with water, isn't it? Water. So all about it. So you know all about this mill then, do you? Right. So we call them buckets. Like we carried buckets or pails years ago, like Jack and Jill did up the hill. If you ever came down the hill, pushed them all out, or Dad did. There's another one here. What was this one for? A bigger one. Well, there's water in it at the moment, but it's it to feed in. What sort of animal would feed out of that? Bigger still. Well, it's bigger than a cow. Horse. That's right, so the horse had to feed as well. And what are these? Step. That's where the stack of corn went when the farmer grew the corn jobs, got into the mill there. Whoops it on his chocolate type. We knew him better by what he what he used to pull. What did he pull? A car. So what what was the name of the horse? What did we call him? A what? Well Shire was bigger and stronger than that. We knew him by his trade. What was his trade? Pulling cards. So we he found a rough stone and he used it to grind the corn with. So that is a local stone out of our local quarry. And we turned it with pieces of wood. It went round and they went in pairs. The bottom one, the wheat comes through a hole in the middle there like that. And the stone was turned round. And it went as far as the bottom stone where it was sealed, it couldn't go through. Then this one, which we call the runner, <coughs> went round on top and it ground it. Now it must come out between the stones in order to grind it. So this is why you see these lines. They're called furrows. Like a farmer ploughs a field, he ploughs them in lines. We cut lines in the stone, so that the wheat that comes in through the middle comes out past here, out a little bit. It comes in as wheat, and it comes, grinds it, keeps grinding. The stone's turning round at about 100 revolutions a minute. Because it's hard, because it's heavy, it will turn it into flour. Pots seething means Water coming up out of the ground, like a, you've seen a boil, a pot boiling, it sees when it boils, well the water comes up like that, so we call the spring pot seeding, because that's how the water came out of the ground. This time the year it fills up, and it runs down the valley, down onto the River Severn. It's a steep valley, and we want to work the wheel. So we hold some of it in the pool, and when we want to work it, instead of letting it where the ducks are now, look, run by, we turn it onto the wheel. When it fills the spaces around the outside, what did I call those? The spaces around the outside of the wheel? Buckets. The water's coming onto the wheel that high. It fills the buckets, so therefore you've got weight of water on the side, so it makes the wheel go round. Because it's weight of water. <laughs> it's like us in the morning when it's cold. A little bit of ice, which doesn't happen very often. Only turn slowly for a moment, then later I'll put some more water on and you can see it going faster. And I want you to come and have a look in the mill. Alright, so when you come down the steps and come into the mill, well, when you saw that, that meant the wheel had been round once. And when it went round once, stones, like the ones up there, like these here, went round as many as 30 and 40 times. And about half a pound to a pound of wheat was ground, probably more than that. So the more you turn the wheel, the faster the stones will go round, the quicker the coal will be ground. That's it. We made some angles and we turned it into what? What does it look like? A wheelbarrow. We put a box on the top and we put things in it. We put seeds in it. And we pushed it up and down the field and we sowed it, the wheat, onto the land. What's the name of the man that sows the seeds onto the land? What's he called? <laughs> this is what the farmer used to sow his seeds years ago. So to make it easy, you put the wheel, and when you turn the wheel, look, we put a rack and a pinion, some little gears, and we transferred the power from that wheel through into the box. And in the box, there's some brushes going round, and it's one or two of you come forward, you'll have a look, just a few of you. 
you'll see the brushes going round and the whole cloth of it, right? We did it by hand. So we pushed it along, turned the key, brought out, and one piece to there, and a little bit put on this top. And the lock is made of wood. The wax out of the door, the lock is made of wood. Years ago we didn't have metal, so we used wood. And we made the door out of pieces of oak. So that's how we get it. Incidentally, when we come into the old lady's monument, because years ago, if you didn't know, everybody was short than they are today. What am I going to do with this? It's on my head. It's on your head. <laughs> Look, I'm going to stop this from turning, so I'm going to put some... some wood in there. That'll stop it. Now, this is actually not to beat people with. It's to dress the stones with. I told you at the top you have to make the stone rough, didn't I? Yeah. And I called the little lines in the stone, what did I call them? Begins with an F. Uh, but, but, well, the sections called the half, and the lines were called, for, like the farmer plows the field, the for, furrows. Furrows, those are lines. You cut the lines from the half with that one. It's called the thrift, and these metal things here are called bills. A bill means, like a bird, pecks with its bill, doesn't it? So he does this to the stone. He cuts the lines. Imagine there's a stone and there's two in there. He does that. And he cuts the lines with that. But he has to turn the stones over to do it. Get rid of that modern device. Right. And we dress them with those. They're called thrift and bills. Once he's done that, to make it nice and fine, he takes a lighter one on smaller bills, and he sharpens them both ends, and he cuts his stones. Now, ground. This is the container, which we call the hopper, that holds it. This, where it sits on, is called the horse. And it usually has four legs, and it's, this is sitting on it, so we call it a horse, because it's holding that. Here is a, a place where it goes down into the stones. It's up the bottom, so we call it the shoe. So you've got the hopper, the horse, the shoe. That's where the wheat goes down into the stone. It goes in there as far as the very bottom stone for you. It comes through from the center, between the two stones, and comes to the outside. It goes in like this. Those are little grains of wheat, look. Who grows the wheat? Who grows the wheat in the field? The farmer. Can you see the little grains of wheat? It goes in like that. Now the darker that is, the more sun it has, the harder it is, the better it mills. The protein means it's had a lot of sun. It goes in there like that, and it's crushing it. Now this is a method of milling that's happened here for hundreds and hundreds of years. I spent 30, 40, put it back into working order. And when I put it back into working order, lo and behold, it still worked. Because everything's so natural. The water is natural, the stones are natural, the wheat is grown natural. And some of that hasn't fallen down. So there it is, look. So it goes in as wheat and it comes out as flour. When you go down below, you'll see what it's going to. So as the stone goes down, it crushes water. So it starts with water, doesn't it? Then we, the water goes onto the wheel and it goes round. Now, you see that one through the window, didn't you? Saw it moving? Yeah. What's it called, that one? Teeth. Well, the teeth. But what's the big whole thing called? It's the largest one, it's the biggest one, it's called the cr crown wheel. That one turns a little one in the wall, and I'll show you that when I go below. That's where all the gears are. And then it turns a shaft and more gears, and it comes up through the floor and turns the stone. It's connected to those stones from below. So when the stones go around, what happens? Come on, anybody, what happens when the stone goes around? What does it do? You know what a tram is? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A buzz. A buzz. That's right, with wheels on, it went round. This is called a trammel because it went round. Now what do we use it for? Well, we want to know if the stones are level before we dress them. So the shaft that turns the stones, this is what we do, watch it. Just stand back a little bit. Imagine the shaft coming up through the floor, like that, to turn the stone. We put this on the top, and we turn the stone round like that. And as we turned it round, it went round the outside edge of the stone. When I take this top stone off, I put it round on the goose feather, 
that little bit at the bottom actually touched the top of the stone and it scraped it all the way around. It's to tell you whether the, the bed stone is level because if it isn't level and the stones go around you get a lot of vibration and the, the tiles start to rattle on the roof, the, the furniture and everything rattles. So it must be level. So that's a trammel for a levelling device. Up through the floor, up to the top. And that was part of the device for, for operating the sack hoist. Right? Mm -hmm. Look like Jeff Cape, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> These are what? Sacks. For carrying the corn. And when they're full, they're rather heavy. Now there's three ladies over there not doing anything. I wonder if I can find them something like that. I'm not very good. I'll give you that one. This one's clever already. We won't give her that. We'll give her something else, shall we? Much too simple. I'll give her this. We're going to ask some questions. Before we do, we're going to ask you a few. We're not digging, so it does something or we call it pitch. So we call it a what? A pitch for. What do we call it in Shropshire, ladies? We don't call it a pitch for, we call it a... These are... Pickles. Pickles in Shropshire. What for? Sacks. Make a hole too big. A clue. A, a clue. The one we often lost. The one we often lost. You've got what in your hand? A needle. A needle you used to lose? So it's a... A needle. Say it out loud. You're supposed to be telling me anyway. A needle in a haystack. What would we use it for on a haystack? And you knew what that other was for, so you've got a pretty good idea. A needle in a haystack, we often used to lose it. Did you pick the hay up? To what? Pick the hay up. Not to pick the hay up, no. Well, you're on the right line. So what would we use it for? No, not the bags. We were talking about haystacks. Bales. Not before bales, long before bales, it's an old one. We used to cut the hay, didn't we children? Yes. We put it in little piles, what did we call those? Haystacks. We call them cocks. We put them onto a, what, to bring it to the maker stack, we put them onto a cart, and we pushed it into a big one and we called it a hay stack. Then we used the needle <coughs> on the top. Grill or it's grid. So it's called a what? Grid. Grid made of? Iron. Oh, it's called a grid iron. What do we call it today? A grill or, or a barbecue. <laughs> What's she doing? Cooking. Cooking over an open fire. That's what she's doing. So go into here. There. Hey. They go into there and they join that one to the one that's going up through the floor. There's one there. Let me point to it. There's one here. There it is. They've got wooden teeth in and there's one there. Now that one's connected and it's connected to these. Now out through the wall is the big wheel. On the wheel is a large one called a cr crown wheel. It's pinned or attached to that one there, so we call it a pinion. When it turns that, this shaft, which comes through there, is horizontal, and these are over a hole in the ground, in the ball court, we call these pit gears. These, when they turn, connect to the stone nut, which turns the stone above. So that's how we take the power from weight of water in the wheel to turn the stones. We use wooden teeth, or cogs, with metal teeth. We use wood because it's soft, it's easy to cut, and it runs nice and quiet. That's why you use it. Now, here is a beam. There, there, and here. Now, they're underneath that shaft that goes up through. So when we raise or lower the beam, we lift the stone up or down. When we lift it up or down, we do it with a hook. And it's a suspended beam. So, ladies, if you're ever in suspense, you're on tender hooks. That's where the saying comes from. 
to tentering the gear. There's the word, tentering. By lifting that up and down, we're opening the stone above and making the wheat coarse when it's going round. When we lower it down, it touches it and it grinds it nice and fine and it turns it into a shoot when it comes down into here. Now these are all facts. Is that? And if you work in a mill and you, and you grind corn, your name is what? Miller, Miller. Your name is actually Miller. In here is a sack. Here is what's come down to when we turned it. What's this? Flour. Well, there it is. Look, that's the whole of the grains of wheat ground between those stones into the flour. There it is, ladies. Oh, that it smells quite nice. The more you mill it, the nicer it smells. And we shaped it and we filled the sacks out of here. We fill the sacks with the shovel, my black. Filled sacks. So there you are, there's your wooden shovel. That is how we used wood, not metal, because we had invented metal, and we used it to cut a hole. If you've got an anvil there, it was a nuisance, so we did away with the anvil. Instead of having an anvil like that and using a long shovel, we did it like that with our hand. What does it do? It turns the wheel. When we put the water onto the wheel, what do we do? What are these? Buckets. We fill those buckets, it makes the wheel go around. But look, they're facing down. So the water is really there. Up there it's used, isn't it? It makes it go around that way. That way because it fills it there. It's heavy, so it goes back to the end. That was called the... Cog. 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 Crown wheel. This is a spin to it, so we call it a... Cog. Pinion. Turn. Here's the side. You want to see it working? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Well, come up to the end then. The heavier. Now the more water comes, the more the wheel will turn. Yeah. 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 It's a bit cold this morning. It's like us, we start mad in the morning when it's cold, don't we? Can I come over the top, please? Yes. Thank you. I'll come back to join you. As soon as the wheel turns, that brown wheel turns, the difference between that one turning and that one. Look at it carefully. It's smaller, so it's going what? It's going faster. The little one's trying to keep up with the big one. That's how we make everything go faster in time. A large one and a small one. You try walking in with your dad in his steps. He takes a bigger step than you, doesn't it? Haven't you? Oh dear. <laughs> right, we're going inside. Right. Celtic, Celtic 
Celtic bread. Celtic bread, is it? Have you had some Celtic bread? No. Oh, I'm going to burn. Oh, I'm going to burn this one. Is it still burning? I put it on my hand. Yeah. <laughs> 